Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another art journal video. Today I'm using my big dilutions uh, art journal because uh, I'm going to use uh, a focal point in the middle and I'm going to create it with texture paste with this stencil. So I didn't want to have a, a division in between when I use my small journal. So there we go with the big journal. I'm going to cover my page with some uh, texture stamping at the background. I'm using this Kaiser Craft uh, stamp that has music notes on it. And I'm just stamping randomly uh, with my archival black ink. And now I'm going to use my uh, gesso to go over this uh, stamping uh, and uh, push it more to the background uh, because I'm going to give color to the page. This is light gesso, so it's not covering uh, the background that I created. It's just pushing it more to the back and making it more subtle. I'm going to use my uh, distress paint today. Uh, it's stormy sky, the color I'm using. Since my uh, focal point will be uh, in the middle, uh, I'm going to start painting from the outside of the page and bring the color to the middle more lighter than it is in the borders. As usual I'm going to slowly build my color, uh, light it first and uh, as I go I will darken it up uh, and I'm using wet wipe to apply the color. However I was not happy, uh, the paint was not coming out of this dabber so I opened it uh, and decided to apply both with my hand and uh, with wet wipe. And I think uh, I will leave it like this. I'm happy. Now I will move and do some texture work uh, with my stencil and uh, some modeling paste. I'm using this beautiful uh, Prima stencil. Uh, it has crackles on it and it's really delicate. Uh, I love uh, the texture that it leaves behind. You will see in a second. Here it is. It's really beautiful. It's very delicate. I'm going to apply it only on the edges uh, like a border. I'm not going to bring it in the middle because in the middle I'm going to have my uh, flowers with uh, texture paste again. Here it is. I will show you how it looks. Uh, I really really like this stencil. And I will quickly darken up the edges of my page uh, just to give a border to it and uh, more definition. I'm using my Distress Ink Blueprint Sketch. And since it's uh, more difficult to apply it with the blending tool here, I'm only using my sponge. And today I'm going to create my focal point with this beautiful stencil. It's by Donna Downey. My plan is just uh, to go over it with a modeling paste. So I have it as a texture. I just secured my stencil uh, with uh, removable tape so that it doesn't uh, move while I'm applying the paste. Uh, it's a big area so I don't want to mess it up. Uh, 
I really hope it comes out nice and neat and here it is yes I really like it I'm just quickly clean up here and I want to show you how beautiful it looks I really love uh, the big flowers it gives you a big area to give a color and here are my gelatos I'm going to use uh, gelatos to color these and you saw how I'm storing them really simply uh, in a box uh, I have all the colors there you will see the colors that I am using uh, while I am applying the color by the way I uh, dried this uh, paste I, I'm not applying the color right away after I uh, put it uh, I used my heat gun to speed up the drying process because I was impatient to start coloring them I will use two colors of uh, yellow tones which is lemon and banana uh, I'm using banana only at the bottom of the flowers just to give them a little bit shading and for the other flowers I'm using orange tones this is mango and I have tangerine again to give it some shading at the edges of the flower and as you noticed I, I'm using my stencil uh, while I am coloring it just to make sure uh, I don't mess up the rest of the page and the reason why I left some uh, flowers uh, not touched is uh, because I felt they weren't dry enough yet so I was uh, spoiling the paste so I left them after I finish this uh, I will uh, try to dry them again with the heat tool and continue uh, giving color And while I'm working on the coloring, uh, I can tell you, you can find a full list of supplies down at the description area or at my blog, as well as close-up pictures of the project, as usual. As you see, using two colors really gives uh, some depth uh, to the picture, so I would uh, strongly suggest you to have some uh, variety. And I started to color the stems of the flowers but I wasn't happy with that color uh, so I'm using a lighter color which is iced pear and I, again I'm going to use my stencil to help uh, to stay in the uh, borders of the stem so I will simply apply this color and actually I will use the other color to give some uh, shadowing effect again As you see I will simply uh, go over some areas uh, with the darker color and blend it with my finger. This will uh, make the stems look uh, much, much more realistic. And I will color the rest of the flowers uh, on my own because basically they are the same as uh, what I did at the moment. Uh, I just don't want to bore you with it. And here they are, uh, I really like how they look and stand out uh, in front of the blue uh, background. Now I'm going to create some butterflies and spread uh, over my page. I used my Martha Stewart uh, punch for this because I could have uh, butterflies small and big in a very short time. And I will simply color them with my distress inks. Uh, you will see the colors that I am using uh, on the screen right now. I will use tones of yellows and oranges uh, to go with the page and uh, stick them uh, on the uh, page. And again you will see me uh, trying to create some shading on the butterflies as well, not, uh, not giving color uh, flat. I am putting more ink on the edges and leaving the middle a little bit lighter. This makes them look more uh, uh, realistic and gives uh, depth. And I think I need more uh, butterflies so I'm going to punch again and uh, color a few more. Now I'm going to stick them on my page with my uh, matte medium. As you see I'm only uh, sticking them uh, from the middle of them leaving the uh, wings uh, up in the air this gives a little bit dimension 
I am also placing the orange ones on the right because the flowers are yellow and I am leaving the yellows on the left where uh, flowers are orange so they uh, stand out And now I will move to my sentiment. Uh, this is a, a alphabet sticker set by Bella Boulevard. Uh, it's called Rainy Day and I really like the colors uh, on them. However, I looked at many retailers websites and I couldn't find it. So uh, apologies, I won't be leaving any link for this uh, alphabet sticker set. My sentiment is nature never goes out of style. Uh, for this I'm going to use this sticker set for some words and uh, another uh, stamp set for other words. Here it is, it's from Dovecraft. I love these uh, small alphabet uh, stamps. Uh, they are very versatile uh, and very cute, uh, easy to use. Uh, when I want to have some variety and small letters, uh, I often go to these stamp sets. And I, uh, I'm using my uh, tea ruler just to be able to stick my uh, word on a straight line. And I'm using a gel medium uh, to secure they don't fall off. I also removed a couple of uh, butterflies because they were in the way of my uh, sentiment. And I stick them back. Now I'm going to use some mica flakes. Uh, these are by 30 nights. It's a uh, dark blue. You will see it in the links. Uh, I will just spread them around the border, uh, not uh, in the middle of the page. This is just a way to give some definition uh, and border to my page too. I just sprinkle them and uh, I will use my uh, gel medium to stick them on the page. I think it gives a nice uh, texture uh, and uh, gives a nice border to my page. And the page is finished. Uh, I hope you liked the video uh, and got inspired by it. Uh, please don't forget to leave me a comment, uh, like or subscribe to my channel. That's how I know uh, you like my videos and projects. Tell me what you want to see as well. You will find full list of supplies down below or at my blog. And see you next time.